Hello, it's Bill again. Today I'd like to talk about why photons redshift. My last explanation that photons had cosmic horizon information encoded into the wave function is wrong. The truth is much simpler. Redshift of the photon is not the photon's fault. It's our fault because we are moving away from the photon's emission location. Think about a distant star that is moving away from us at point 8c because dark energy is pulling that distant star out of our observable universe. Now from that star's perspective, we also are moving away from it at the same velocity because we are pretty close to that st distant star's cosmic holographic horizon and that distant star is pretty close to our holographic cosmic horizon. So when that star emits a photon, the photon travels at the speed of causality. This means the velocity relationship of 0.8c between the distant star and the receiver, us, is locked in the moment that the photon was emitted. So the photon flies through space while we're still receding away from the emitter, but the relative velocity difference between us and the distant star is locked in upon emission. And so long as we don't accelerate, we will see the red shift of that locked in causal relationship. The difference of where a photon would have landed if the distances never changed and where the photon actually lands is called movement. When we measure the photon, we collapse its wave function and it appears to the photon that we are trying to run away from it. Photons do not evolve underway, they do not stretch. A wave function is not quite reality yet, so it can't change in any way, meaning it can't stretch. Back to our thought experiment. With a distant star moving away at point 8c emits a photon in our direction. Now imagine that instead of just sitting there letting dark energy pull us out of the emitter's observable universe, that we flew towards that distant star at the same speed it was receding, point 8c. Now we will recover the actual photon energy, no redshift, no blue shift. So photon redshift is all about our movement away from distant emitters. If you think about it, if you saw a distant star was moving away from you at point 8c, you would expect that its photons would be redshifted because, well, it's moving away from us. But in the photons reference frame, it is us who's moving away from its emission source. Thanks for watching. Watch my playlist. It explains gravity, dark energy, entropy, entanglement, and even dark matter and also how special relativity emerges from cosmic horizons gravitational energy. And remember, gravity's for the masses. Have a great day.